Hello everybody, welcome to the astrology chat for October 27th, 2023. So the keys for today are to continue to step back and have a private conversation with yourself, with your soul, with your morals, with your ethics, and with your spirit about who you are and what you fight for and what you are aligned with. We are on the dark side of the moon. We have the partial lunar eclipse in Taurus tomorrow, where we're going to be closing a two-year cycle of the eclipse points on Taurus and Scorpio. And so today is a day to stand back and say, what have I learned? What did I realize? What did I lose? What did I gain? Um, and what am I willing to move forward with? And also what am I needing to walk away from as we now enter into the cycle of the Aries and Libra eclipse points? And there is always a point in a person's life, um, probably several points if you're actively engaging in life, where you have to decide for yourself who you're going to be and if you're going to go along with something or if you're going to go against something. And that applies on micro and macro levels. And I say this because we have the moon in Aries and the moon in Aries continues to be the house of I am, of the head, of the brand. This is the spirit of Mars. This is the spirit of war, of your boundaries, what you fight for, who you fight for and why you fight and what your passions are going to. And a lot of the energies today are saying, are you willing to fight if nobody else is standing with you? And are you going along with the crowd? Or are you daring to be the ram in your life and forge ahead, even if you have to forge alone? And ultimately, uh, you won't be alone. Ultimately, in whatever direction you go, you're going to find a tribe. You're going to find comrades. You're going to find friends. But naturally, there's also going to be opposition. And what that means for you and how that shapes your actions is very personal. Um, but it is a decision either way. And this is especially amplified by the fact that we have Mars in the sexy quadrant with Neptune today. And so this is the planet of action and of the self coming into tension with the collective and the subconscious. And so there is, there's going to be a revelation about what you've been believing and if it's been true or not, right? This is Neptune that's retrograde. So there is the energy of illusions and deceit and lies and having to find the truth um, through the muck and mire, through what's being told or not being told. And this is where it's very important to let yourself go out and find out for yourself. And we do have the moon in Aries also in an eliminator angle with Venus. And so there is this tension about what you love and what you're willing to do for what you love and what's important to you. Again, in some way, this is against the grain. Venus is technically in fall in Virgo. And so this is not about doing what everybody else wants you to do. It's about you doing what you know is right for you, even if other people don't understand. There's also a semi-square with Saturn that's also in Pisces that is also asking you, what are you willing to do to be the person that you need to be, to be the authority in your life, to be the leader, to be the structure? Uh, what is being given to you by the masses is not going to fit for what your soul needs you to do. And there is a point in everybody's life, again, probably multiple points, where you have to decide where you're going to stand up or where you're going to lay down. This is also amplified by the fact that we have the moon in conjunction to the North Node in Aries that is calling all of us to be true to who we are and what we're meant to do with our lives and ourselves and in an opposition uh, to the South Node in Libra, which is going to, again, take you away from the group, right? Who are you aligned with? Who are you working with? Why are you in these associations? And whatever the answer may be, again, there is a choice being made. And there's also a conjunction to Chiron that is calling you to question if you're where you are because you want to be or if you are where you are because you have wounds and injuries that you haven't healed and where you are is where you're used to being and if you are afraid of leaving where you are. So again, we're on the dark side of the moon. A lot of this energy is internal. A lot of it is behind the scenes. A lot of these are personal questions and decisions that you have to make for yourself that are going to guide what happens in the next steps. And then we have the partial lunar eclipse in Taurus, where there's going to be a completing of a cycle and the beginning of another. I love you guys so much, and I hope that you walk the path of your highest being, even if it takes you away from compliance. I love you. Bye.